everyone, it's Catherine. Welcome back to another Spotlight on Stamping Plates series. Today I am looking at the Essence Ho 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 stamping set. I believe it's a limited edition stamping set or maybe a trends. I had to order mine from Cosmetic for Less because it's not in shops here yet. And uh, yeah, so every Saturday before Christmas, I'm going to be showing you some Christmassy stamping plate goodness. So I have Beauty Big Bang and Born Pretty. I have Mo You, Maniology, lots of stuff coming up. So let's get started with this Essence one. So I am going to open it up. Okay, so just opening it up here. Uh, I had to cut my way in. Let's see how easy that comes out. Pretty easy. So we've got our stamper in here. Pull that one out. It's uh, oh, it's got let it snow on the top. That's quite cute. It still has the solid bottom, and it has ho 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 here. I found that with my other essence stamper, this kind of wore off after a while. I do not like to touch the head at all. It doesn't look as clear as my essence sampler. You see there's quite a lot of bubbling there. Um, I hope that doesn't affect how I see things. It shouldn't. Um, I did find that my essence sampler did wear down a little bit, but I do use them a lot, so maybe that's it. Um, then we have our scraper. It's so stiff. It's very, very like the um, one you get with the current, with the purpley essence stamper. stamper. Uh, I won't be using that as a scraper, but I do like the design on it. So I'll use it for when I'm doing reverse stamping. I'll use it as a, like a little palette. And in general, I really like the packaging. I'm not sure if we need any more plastic. But anyway, um, I do quite like the fact that they have all of the designs from the plate on the outside. And here is the plate. This looks a bit longer than the... Um, yeah, it's not the same size as the other Essence stamping plates. They are about this size and a little bit wider. So they've kind of gone up instead of across, I guess. And uh, yeah, so here we've got Ho Ho Ho, Snowflake, a little kind of cupcake, just a reindeer face. We've got some antlers, a let it snow, Christmas tree, nice little snow globe, a star, a reindeer here or a stag, some hearts, a Santa hat, love a little kind of traditional motif we've got a star and a wreath some stars here a christmas present a bauble this says oh my dear uh, we've got a snowman a candy cane joy some little mittens a bow and a little wand so it's actually it's like half Christmassy, half not. So that's quite good. So if you're not into the Christmas season, that is quite good. So the first thing we need to do is take off this um, plastic sheet. Again, I try not to touch the plate, even though I still will probably clean it. I try not to touch it if I can help it at all. So you get a better look at the stamping plate there. And what I will say is that there's already a number of scratches on it. So just make sure that when you peel off the plastic that it is off because I know sometimes, or I know some people the last time had a double layer of plastic on it. So I am going to clean the plate with some acetone. Not sure where that bit came from. Clean the plates with some acetone and then stamp all the images in black using my Born Pretty Black. It's my best stamping black. And um, I'm just gonna stamp them onto the lint roller using the stamper from the pack. I do use a lint roller. Just people were asking me, how do you clean your head? A lint roller, that was, uh, Margaret Joder told me that a long, long time ago. That was already on the lint roller. It wasn't on the stamping head, don't worry. Even though it's just brand new out of the box, it's no harm to run the lint roller off it or some tape if you have some um, masking tape or something like that. I'm also going to treat the um, the plate with some acetone. You can use a claw like this. Sorry, my thing has fallen down here. This is getting good use. You can use a claw like this and I don't have any cotton buds at the moment so I usually just like scrunch it up like that. Then I get put some acetone on this and then I'll just give the plate good clean that is pure acetone that I use and um, now what I will say is sometimes you'll get a little bit of cotton so what I like to do is grab some lint free tissue and just quickly do that it's important that it's lint free okay not like 
toilet tissue like actually like proper tissue all right so we're all ready to go so as i said i might play a little bit of christmas music while i do this and have some fun so uh you can follow me along and i can give you my final thoughts afterwards
Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed my little run through of the Essence Ho 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 stamping plate. Uh, I'm very impressed with the engravings of the images. It's all really, really nicely done. Where there were any little bald spots, that was probably user error more than anything else because uh, for the most part, like they came out perfect, but the antlers didn't so much. But that was my fault really. I left it a little bit too long or my scrape wasn't that great. But um, yeah, I really love that how the detailed images came out. What I will say is that for some of the thicker kind of uh, heavier images like this, the snowman, it, there's it's there's not enough detail in it. To it's very difficult to see the detail, and it's such a solid color. So maybe a little bit more spacing between the head and the body. But I'm really nitpicking for the most part. You know, the, it's a really nice little plate. Um, nice images. It would make a lovely little stocking filler. I think if I'm going to pick my favorites, it would be the mittens. Um, the uh, snowflake, really nice snowflake, and the snow globe. Uh, I really, really enjoyed them, and the ho 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 sign is quite good as well. I'm, I'm glad they included the 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 name of the product too. The stamper is brilliant as always. Just if you have it, be sure you don't let let it down in any acetone. This kind of tends to get cloudy. I'm very messy at stamping anyway, so that happens to me a lot. Uh, but yeah, just watch out for that. And don't press too hard because this, once you use it for um, a long time, over time it wears down a little bit and it kind of, it can pop out. Just be careful of that. Um, but other than that, really nice stamper, really good little plate, you know, for um, a high street kind of uh, option. It's a really decent little plate, especially if you're starting off stamping. And this is a good way to practice. Just get a lint roller and just keep practicing. Develop a little method if you're new to stamping. Um, that's a good way to kind of just kind of get good at it and see how, um, what way you like to stamp. All right, folks, let me know what you thought of the new Essence stamping plate Christmas set. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. I will see you next Saturday for another spotlight on festive stamping plates. Talk to you then. Bye.